There was uh, a few people already waiting in the live chat for the show to start. Thank you so much. Guys, hi and welcome to the joy of pouring. You have just been watching. Oh, and little Mew is saying hi to. Uh, you have just been watching the fabulous Britta Clayton. Before Britta Clayton was the lovely Taslima by Maya Arts. She was our guest on the on the Acrylic Crazy Train this week. And it all kicked off with our lovely brother Sheldon and Shell Rock Arts. Now I'm holding this up like this. Ooh, let's get straight to it. I just want to go over this competition again. You just have to watch my video number 75. Sorry if the if it's a bit muffled because I'm speaking behind it. All you have to do is watch my video 75. Please watch it in its entirety uh, and then comment love and you guys could win this assortment of little goodies. We have uh, different tube paints as you guys can see there. We've got uh, some deco art. We have some resin uh, plastic, uh, some resin um, pigment here. We have some tube paints and we also have a Spinner by a spinner mat by Fluid Art Co. So all you have to do, oh, we've got some glitter down there in the front as well. So I said this was going to run for two weeks, so it's another week. We'll uh, we'll announce the winner next Sunday, uh, Sunday the 18th, who wins this lovely little package of stuff. Uh, and yes, please watch my video number 75 and comment love, and you could be in for a chance to win all of this swag. Oh yeah, there's also some blank coasters for you you can make as well there so here's loads of little goodies there so let's just start with that one Ooh, brilliant ah, and let's just do the introductions and the rest of the crazy train timetable after me the lunatic from the uk living in canada beaming this crazy show to you in your homes and on your phones. After me is the lovely Christy, who's also in my ear, my number one fan. Uh, Creations by Christy is after me. And then the caboose this week is my lovely brother from another mother, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Now it's a little bit early there. I'm not sure if we're gonna see him yet because we can understand it's... <laughs> Sorry, Christy just said something in my ear, one sec. Oh, oh, sorry, I got it round the wrong way. Thank you, Christy. Yeah, well, I got it round the wrong way. After me, it's Wombat, because I was thinking of things backwards. You can see where I went wrong. After me, we're going to Venom Fluid Art in New South Wales. And then the caboose is Christy this week, not Darren. I'm sorry, friends. Just kind of, yeah, the whole switch has kind of thrown me for a loop. And I've even got notes right here about it. So I've got no excuses, sorry. After me, it's uh, Venom. And then after Venom, it's Creations by Christy. So um, that was the, uh, you would have also watched, and I said that while we were doing the thing, Sheldon uh, and then uh, Tassie and then uh, Britt. And now it's me. Now waffle, waffle, waffle. Christy's just giggling in my ear slowly. I know she knows I'm out of kilter just a little bit about this so nice deep breaths everybody and we exhale and we calmly go on with the show so um let's just remind you guys at home and anyone watching for the first time uh, who might not have uh, uh, subscribed to us please subscribe to us when you subscribe you can comment on our videos and you can get interactive with this live chat that's going on right now and when we do lives and when i do a live show like this as well now speaking about the live chat in the bottom right hand corner where you type your message in there's a little dollar sign this is to send us super chats and super stickers which is just a way of supporting and donating to the channel and us and sharing your love for us. Now, why do we ask for these or why do you want to use these? It's a really great way of getting your message highlighted in the live chat. And if you've got a burning question, good way of getting it answered, definitely. But also we ask for stickers and support in that way that we can get some better equipment. We've now found out I have to get a new laptop to be able to do the double camera angle that I've been going on about for since show one, really. So now we're saving up for that. But yes, if you send anything like that, thank you you so much my friends now also if you saw me in the live chats on the three videos before us um, I'm prepping for the live show so I haven't got I can't be fully interactive in all those live chats up until the last minute because as you can understand I use my phone to make the show and I've got to prepare for it so brilliant that's that one uh, and then we've got Facebook stores another way to support us other than the super chats and super stickers is our Facebook stores I have one I know Brit has one um, 
uh, Darren from Ben and Fluid Art has one. I know Sheldon was getting one together and Christy, I believe now most of us do. If you'd like to know the addresses of those, please go to our Facebook group, The Acrylic Crazy Train, where we are all moderators and uh, admins and all the stuff. Uh, and uh, that's how you can get through to our stores and you can show support show support in another way by actually buying a piece of art from us and you get something too right so um the jop win yes we've done that now let's first of all do last week's winners of last week's canvas so this is the one sorry for the light glare let me just turn that away here we go da -da -da. i'm not sure if you can see it good anymore but um this one here we go uh, I asked him to watch Sheldon's videos from Shell Rock Art and his video 131. Now he chose a winner this morning. Now are you ready? I hope they're in the live chat. It is Luciana, yes, Bella Bean, you won. Here you go. Da, 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 da. He picked your name out with a random picker thing. And so, Bella Bean, uh, I know whom you are, Bella Bean, <laughs> Luciana. Uh, we'll get hold of each other. Send me a DM. I'll get your address and we'll be sending this one off to you. And Sheldon and I, and we all thank you so much for supporting these little competitions we do. So there we go, Luciana, Bella Bean, well done. So, the other last week's canvas, which was actually last week's canvas. <laughs> Here we go. And for this one, I asked you to watch uh, Creations by Christy, my number one fan, the lovely Christy that's in my ear. And I asked you to watch her video number 48. And you just had to watch it in its entirety to help them build their watched hours. And you had to comment love. And this morning, the lovely, lovely Christy chose a winner. And the winner is, I love doing this. I love, <laughs> sorry, sorry. The winner is, Get on with it, Fuzzy Chris. She's really laughing now. She's telling me who it is. I've got it written on the back, Christy. So the winner of this one is... Drum roll, Vanna. Oh, thank you. Sorry, we've got the drum roll on the first one. I'm sorry about that, Bella Bean. So, the, yeah, the drum roll. It's Danielle Naden. Is she in the live chat? Oh, I think I saw her in the chats before. Congratulations, Danielle. So again, I know you're part of, oh, George Ann, thank you so much for that sticker. Bless your heart, George Ann. Um, yes, so Danielle, you were in uh, the live chats before and I'm pretty sure you're in our group, the Acrylic Crazy Train. Please DM me your address and I shall get this lovely, uh, this was the hot dog sw swipe. And there you go, you can see, I'll get nice and close. You can see the great reflection Got a beautiful coat of resin on this one. We can even see Vanna's portrait in it like that. But there we go, I'll give you a nice close up of this one. And this was the results of the uh, hot dog swipe. And I know that was a very amusing show for lots of people. <laughs> so anyway, oh, Britta, thank you so much, darling. Britta sent me a sticker. Thank you, sweetheart. That's so kind. Sorry, I'm getting dry mouth again. There we go, much better. So Danielle Naden, here we go. We will get your address and this will be on its way to you real soon. So that was the last week's canvases. And let's just put those to the side. Right there. Now let's show you last week's actual canvas, the result of it. Oh, Heather, Rainbow Bean, thank you so much, my darling. That was so kind of you. Thank you for the sticker. Um, these are, this is the result from last week, from our... Um, our swipe and um oh dear me it was one second friends sorry yes of course the subject last week was color theory i just had to look my mind went absolutely blank and i'm like here's the results from last week Brr, and totally capped it so yes this was the color theory test now uh, as you can see the colors went together really very prettily that beautiful lovely um custom dark purple Oh, Danielle. Thank you, Danielle. Congratulations, Danielle. Well done. Uh, yes, and we can see uh, the, um, uh, the lovely uh, Aphrodite we used by TLP. And then also this one down here. And this one was the brulee, the kind of interference. Bingo. There you go. The interference kind of goldy orange. Now, 
Thank you, Christy, darling. She says, am I a beautiful? And it really is. But let's show you two points if we're going to be super critical about this. Um, the theme of Darren's video last week was absolutely brilliant because it was what happens if your paints are a little bit too thin and your cell activator sinks through it too quickly. And now look, it's brilliant. We can show you my colours were a bit thin here. You can see the cell activator sank a bit too quick and it kind of went not as badly warpy or you know wonky as cells can go but it sank pretty quick and they didn't hold their structure too uh, too too well but as we move up here to where we were in the uh, custom purple that we know was really really thick or much thicker actually than this not really really thick but obviously thicker than the two aphrodite and then the brulee and you can see how the cell structure just stayed absolutely beautiful and we've got that gorgeous gold lacing everywhere and fantastic so yes this is what happens is it oh that's uh uh art in france thank you so much oh please thank her in the oh nelvia as well nelvia thank you so much darling that was really kind of you um the other second uh, super critical thing we could be about this piece here and i've got to get real close for you to see there were some air bubbles in my color to go paint and can you see those little white dots, those little suckers? Yeah? Christy, you can see, yeah? Yeah, can you see? <laughs> can you see them? Yeah, you see? When you kind of look back from here, you don't see them. But now when I've got close, you can start to see them everywhere. This is what happens when we've still got bubbles in our pillow. The bubbles raise through the paint and bring up a little bit of the white pillow with them. So, you know, unless somebody really badly, badly wants this one, <laughs> I shall probably pour over it. But if you badly, badly want it, um, let them know in the live chat and we'll see what we'll do for you. But there you go. Yeah, guys, the two super critical points we could be about is, and just so happens Darren's show was about it and perfect, how your colours are a bit too thin and your cell activator sinks a bit too quick. Uh, colours are nice and thick. Oh, Christine, thank you so much. Lovely, thank you. Oh, Jackie Fitzgerald, don't pour over it, she says. Okay, I love it, says Daniel Boatsman. Oh, bless. <laughs> oh, I can see lots of messages as soon as I've said, tell them if you don't want me to pour over it. Um, but yes, I might resonate then. If one of you guys really badly wants it, we'll see about something and uh, I'll pick one of you guys or we'll do something. Let us know in the comments and I'll have to watch it all back. Sometimes I don't get the chance to watch the show back and watch the live comments, which is um, a bit of a shame because obviously you guys have such a crazy fun time in there. So that's all of that. And that was last week's canvas. Oh, Kathleen, thank you so much. You lovely. That was so generous of you. Thank you. Sorry for turning away from the camera. So so, um, oh, bless her, I just saw, I'm so excited. I oh, won, she's crying, says Bella Bean. Oh, Bella Bean, please don't cry. I know they're happy tears, but yes, you did win. So that will be on its way to you soon. Oh, Joyce McKinney, thank you so much. Let's do some hot dogs, says Heather Gordon. Well, no, <laughs> I know Heather was one of the main, one of the main instigators for that show, that was funny. Oh, Luciana, thank you for that little sticker. Thank you, the little fox is so cute. So the subject we're doing this week is acrylic pore transfers. Okay, guys, so let's uh, stop some waffling. Well, we're gonna talk a bit more, of course, but uh, we're gonna have a look at some things here and uh, we're going to get on with doing a uh, acrylic pore, a transfer over a pore that we've already done. Now, I'm not sure whether just to put the camera down or hold these things up. Um, Maybe just hold them up because otherwise you're just going to be looking at the same things and me waffling and stuff. So anyway, for those of you and most of you are that are in our group, the Acrylic Crazy Train, the main header picture is that lovely blue background swipe with this kind of driftwood kind of um, sort of transfer looking thing over the top of it. Now, um, I have not done thousands. Sorry, Christy, what did you say? Oh yeah, Wombat, yes. <laughs> Christy reminded me I sent that picture to Wombat for his birthday present. Yeah, yes I did. And he loves it. He has it by his bed. It's absolutely, it's really darling. Yeah. So I haven't done many of the transfers, but I have been playing around more and more lately. And I figured out kind of, um, you know, there's many ways you can do it, but the effects you can get from doing it different ways. And more importantly, the order in which you actually 
do the two acrylic pores that you're going to transfer over. Now, some people do the bloom first and leave it on its side, and then they'll do a background, however the background's going to be. And then you scoop up the bloom, and then you can transfer it over the background that you just made. Now, the thing I found out about that is that if you do the bloom first, whilst you're, and especially if you're doing a live show, chitty chat, chitty chat, chatting, whilst you're doing the background, the bloom really spreads out just naturally over the canvas that you've got it on to then scrape up and transfer. So I found that the, a better way of doing it, or the way I prefer to do it, is you do the background first, give it a little spin so we get a bit of the paint off, but not all of it, then you put that to one side, then we do the bloom or the swipe or a puddle of colors, whichever you actually want to do. Then you pick that up with the scraping tool, then you transfer it over. Now, oh, Lily, thank you so much. That's so kind, thank you. Um, if you do the bloom first and it spreads right out and you still use it, when you scrape it up, you will notice that the bloom, as it, uh, because the paint is all spread out and is really thin, when you scrape it up, it kind of makes these little ridges Bingo, just like this one here, you see. Now, that's how I did it, the first one, the um, blue picture for the Acrylic Crazy, uh, for the acrylic crazy Train um, group on Facebook. That's how I did it, and you see, I was practicing with it here and doing it in the same way, picking up something that had already really spread out, and it gives you this kind of nice liney kind of effect, which looks a bit, look, looks a little like driftwood, or this beautiful kind of like um, ripples on the beach from the waves effect in the sand. So that's if you let the bloom or the swipe, whatever you're doing, spread right out and you do it first, then you do the background and transfer it over. If you do it the way I prefer, you get a little more kind of definition of what you are transferring. Now, a good example of this was a picture I was practicing making skins the other day. But here you go, you see, I did the background first, which was a bloom, and I wasn't too happy with it. So I was just playing around and figured out, okay, I'll uh, do another, I did a swipe on some white, left it, didn't spin it out and picked it up immediately and then transferred it over. And you can see you still retain, I mean, this isn't the best example of a transfer. There are other people that are much better at it than I, but that's why we're learning here with you guys. So, but you can kind of see a little bit of definition of the cells and everything and the structure of what I actually picked up and transferred. Now that's what we're gonna try and do today. Now there's, again, a few ways of doing it. I was playing around with this bloom the other day. You can see this was a bloom. And with all the excess that had dripped off at the edge, I then picked it up and then drizzled it over the top. Oh, there we go. With the actual <laughs> excess paint that I spun off from this little bloom here and it worked quite well. So this is a good way of doing it because you scrape up the paint that you would be wasting essentially and then transferring it back over. Now, we only spin it once before we do the transfer because when we add the transfer, we're adding more paint to the background. So it does need another spin after that so we can get the excess off and hopefully it dries nice and beautifully like this little one did. So again, they're my little practices. And again, I am quiet. <laughs> needing a drink. Thank you, friends. Well, I just had a little whisper that one of our friends, Drew, is watching, and he's my very good friend, Vanna and I, his very good friend, uh, who lives in Montreal, and he's coming to visit uh, next week, which is going to be fantastic. So, hello, Drew. Thank you very much for joining us, my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. It's lovely. Christy just went, oh, in my ear. So let's just put those um, examples to one side. Now, let's get the spinner out and let's start to throw some paint around. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna show you what we've got here. I've got a little bit of the iridescent blue green by PBO or PBO, however, however you wanna say it. And then I've got a little bit of a uh, custom purple here. So these are the two colors I'm gonna put down on a white pillow. Phew, you just saw Mew fly up the stairs. And uh, then we're gonna do a swipe. Then we're gonna do a bloom with these colors. Now, um, pretty sure we're gonna do it in this order. This is um, uh, Afterglow, thank you. It took me a second just to remember. Afterglow by TLP, and you can see it's got this lovely, super bright pink color with a, with a lovely gold shimmery pink shimmer to it. We're gonna be using that. And then we are going to be using this one, which is a color called Sock Eye. And uh, I tell you what, let me show you the consistencies of these. I'll get the camera pointing down. 
da, da, da. there we go. So, the, here we go, this is the afterglow. You see it's just a little bit on the thick side, but uh, I mixed them up a little bit thicker because it was very hot last week, and now this week it isn't so much. So now all my stuff is quite thick, but we're just gonna use it anyway and see how we go and show you the dried results next week. Well, there you go, that is the, da, da, da. that's the um, sockeye. It's beautiful kind of salmon color with a lovely, lovely metallic finish to it. And then the last one we're going to be doing and picking up and transferring is this one. And this is the ballet slipper from this little piggy. Beautiful, beautiful light, very light kind of creamy pink color with a lovely shimmer to it. Ballet slipper, so there we go. Bum, bum, bum. And now I've just got to get these in order. Excellent. So my friends, let us, oh, I've just found a pot with some, oh. Ah, oh, it's Comet, we have some Comet here. <laughs> I already went through this little tray of paints this morning and I thought, oh, I thought I'd got them all. But now we've got some Comet here too. Oh, fantastic. Oh, and, it, and oh, look at that. Pretty damn good consistency still. Hey buddy, we'll take you out after the show. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, we've got some Comet there. I'm pretty sure it's Comet. Yes, it is, it's Comet. We'll throw some Comet in there too. Way. <coughs> Excuse my cough, my friends. So here we go. This is about, I think it's um, nine and a half by seven and a half. It's a bit of off cut of wood. I went dump, dumpster diving at a, uh, at a local, oh, at one of the house builds near where we are. And I found these off cuts and it was like, perfect. These are gonna make great little off cuts just to do things exactly like this. So I'm just, wait, there we go. Measuring it up, guys, kind of getting it by sight as equal as I can. This little half moon, another one there, and then just on the edge of the lines. And then we're, oops, there we go. And then we're nicely all lined up. So well, let me just get this down a little bit closer. So I'm gonna do my bloom on this old uh, canvas that I've got. Don't worry about it. It was just, a, again, another dumpster dive find. It's a bit of flooring cut up that I was just doing practices on for the transparent pillows that I was going to do and still mean to do, but it's just, as always, the time. Time, time, time. So here we go. Time, time, time. And we're 2.22, says the clock on the, says the clock on the um, cooker as the cat just walks across it. So there we go, we're just gonna uh, put our uh, meow, hey buddy. <laughs> oh, it's cause, <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> meow, hi. <laughs> the cat must be appeased. Yes, there we go, hang on, I'll just show you. Bingo, there he is, and there's Vanna. <laughs> hi buddy, we're trying to, we're trying to, Papa's trying to do a show. <laughs> Bless him. Now, I'm sorry if I made the shot all wonky then. I'm sorry, I'm, oh dear. Here we go. If we had the dual view camera thing, I wouldn't have to do that because you could see a little Mew and jumping up and see. Oh, <laughs> Vanna's just said we'd need triple view for Mew too. So here we go, guys. This is a bit of um, the uh, Sherwin-Williams in the white base color to go. The one that the culprit that had some, uh, had some air bubbles in it last week and I can see there are some here right now. So I'm gonna give it a good few taps. Okay, Christy says there is a question, please. Nelvia Johnson has just asked us a question. Apologies for going quiet, guys. Uh, Christy's just asked me in my, in my ear. Nelvia Johnson asked, what is the difference between Comet and the other one? Well, sorry. Chantilly Lace. Chantilly Lace. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know that pig. I'm sorry, what, what, what brand are you talking about, Chantilly Lace, Nelvia? Oh. I've not heard of Chantilly Lace. Oh, it's Colour Art. Some, someone's just said it's Colour Art. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, Bridget did, yeah? 
Excellent. Okay, well, that's awesome. Um, can Bridget tell her what the difference is then? Bridget already has. She's done. <laughs> oh, right, okay, that's great. So that's that little thing sorted out. Um, not that I, um, I just have never used colour art before. It's nothing personal or anything like that. It's just when I got into it, the person that I was um, following, uh, Lisa Marvin, was using, um, was using Liquitex. Uh, and, you know, I don't always just use piggies either. I use uh, Liquitex products, I use Golden, I use uh, PBO, and I use Amsterdam, and I also use Rust-Oleum. So I use many different products, but it's just colour art and their pigments I've heard are fantastic. But I've just never had the, uh, had the, uh, had the ability or well, seen them anywhere to try them. I like supporting local uh, and uh, small businesses in my art, so um, that's my kind of chat on that, let's say. I can still see that there's damn bubbles in that pillow. That's fine, we're gonna put this uh, color down. We're gonna put it down in a bit of a stripe and then do a swipe. So I'm gonna use all of it pretty much. So this is the PBO Iridescent uh, Blue Green. Here we go, and uh, just a bit more. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. And my colors are quite thick. So, is that a nice good close-up, Christy? Can you see decently? How does that look, Vanna, on your... I've got pies. Okay, <laughs> excellent. So this is the custom purple that we, uh, we're putting down now that we were using last week. There we go, excellent. Now, I've just got a... One second, friends. I just had to put those most empty pots uh, away from my <laughs> Whoops, I just, oops, I just swore as well. I just put them. I had to move my empty pots away from this little darling here whose tail is swishing right in them because I don't wash, want to cover the cat in, in paint. Sorry, guys, I pressed the button accidentally trying to move it, showing you why I was moving my paints and whom I was moving them from. So there we go. Yes. <laughs> Christy's just saying to me, I can see him wagging his tail and just getting the paint everywhere. So, <laughs> he has already, yes. Not this time, but he has in the past, hence my hesitation to put anything near him. So I'm using the white Shelly Art recipe cell activator of the Australian Flow Troll, white Amsterdam titanium white paint. And we're just going to pour. Oh. <sighs> Again. These things just fall out of my ears. They don't want to know. Can you still hear me, Christy? Okay, Christy's still in one ear, so that will do, it's fine. <laughs> okay, guys, so there you go. There's the cell activator, and I'm just gonna swoosh it right around. And there you go, that's going to be our background, so we'll just leave that just for a few seconds and minutes. Mm. All right, excellent. So, let me just have a little drink of water. Okay, great. So we're going to have about that right there. My paints were very thick and I didn't manage to spread them out too much until we got here. So what I'm going to do is just move them into the middle there nicely. So the picture is okay, is it, Christy? Uh, you can see everything nicely. It's in focus and it's lit well, is it? Excellent, because I'm not using the light ring anymore. I'm just literally using the kitchen, regular kitchen lights we have. It, great, thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. Does it look better? <laughs> and we just won't use the uh, we won't use the light ring anymore. And uh, also we um, we uh, we won't bother getting the the um, diffusers if the light's quite okay as it is. So there we go, my friends. Let's give this a spin so we can get off just a bit of the excess. There we go. Not that much excess. 
Maybe I might have needed to put down a little more pillow, but I think it's working okay. Because again, when we do the swipe, uh, the uh, when we do the transfer, we are going to have to spin it again because there will be too much paint on it just to leave as is. So I hope that's making sense and everything I've been saying so far has been making sense. So I am now just going to da da da. Oops. <laughs> Christy says that's purplicious. It is rather purplicious, isn't it? Here you go. I'll give you guys a nice oops. There you go. There's a nice close up. And are we getting much movement? Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> the the movement of the canvas actually on the on the spinner. So let's just put this to one side over here. Yeah. Thank you, Vanna. And we've got our just our old board that we've got here and I'm just going to put a little bit of pillow down excellent now again you know the larger piece you're doing the bigger the amount of uh, uh, paint or the larger amount of paint you're going to need to scrape up to be able to transfer over all of it so we uh, don't need a hell of a lot of paint because we're just going to make a transfer over about eight and a half inches or so. So that's more than enough pillow. And um, I'm just going to just put the sock eye down first. Now, like I said, you can do this a couple of ways. You can make a bloom or you could make a swipe or just puddles of paint and pick those up and transfer them. What we're going to do here was let's do a bloom and we'll pick the bloom up and transfer it across. Or we could do a circular swipe. I'm really not too sure. So that was the sock eye. Now we're going in with a nice load of the Comet, which is an interference gold red, if you guys are wondering. And now let's put down some of that fantastic, here we go, the ballet slipper now, I think. Now, I'm being really generous because these are old paints that I've had mixed up for about a week or more, or at least a good few days. So that's the Afterglow from TLP. Now, I'm going to use the Permanent Red Violet um, from Amsterdam as a cell activator. And let's see how this is. Oh, yeah, let's see how this is going to do. We always need to give our cell activator a real good stir up. And about that much, I think. And excuse me for a minute, let's just get you back here while I blow this out. Okay. So now we're just going to have to leave this to one side for a second. Just let the cell activator sink. Let me just have another little drink of water. Yeah, sorry, Christy, there's me just going, yeah. Christy just asked me in my ear, is um, Sockeye a TLP? And I said, yes, yes it is. It's a, um, it's, yeah, 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 it's this one. It's like a nice kind of metallic salmon colour. It's quite lovely. So anyway, our cell activator is sinking there. I shall give it just a couple of seconds more. And then because we, again, we don't want it to spread out too far. If we let this alone for more time and it spreads right out, when we pick it up, it's going to kind of, the colours are going to crunch together because they've already been spread out and you'll get that lovely kind of driftwood effect. I'm hoping to not get that driftwood effect. I would like to pick this up and then show you guys uh, a nice, this, trans, this bloom transferred over that swiped background. Oh, bless him. Vanna only has one chair to sit on in the corner and the cat has now <laughs> claimed that. Bless his little cottons, little so-and-so. Now, you see, I learned last time, if I turn the camera to show you what he's done, he's very cute, but I might press, you know, off again or something crazy like that. Anyway, so I am going to, let's transfer, do the transfer this way. Okay, friends, so I'm going to hold it like that. 
we are going to get our uh, plastic scraping tool and we are going to scrape this up. Now, you don't want to be really quick with this. You want to make sure that it just nicely travels over the, uh, the, the uh, transfer tool. So there we go. There we go, nicely. So we still kind of can get, or try to keep as much of the cell structure and the bloom structure as we can. Now here's the quick bit. So down and then around, up and over is the way I like to do it. Pull it up and it gets smaller. Closer to the canvas, it gets larger. Oh, you can see my nerves. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> my nerves, you can see me doing that. Oh my word, never been so nervous doing something before. Right, now there we go guys. I know we kind of followed the same line as the swipe, but uh, hopefully it's gonna grow a little larger when we spin it out and we're gonna get some nice composition from this. Now, I'm just gonna hold it up real close. If you can see there, there's a little row of bubbles where I kind of pulled the, uh, I, I lifted the scraper up further from the canvas and then let it go back down to kind of do the little, uh, the little motion here. That it can be very serendipitous. Let me get nice and close because by doing that, you can trap air bubbles. And usually we don't like air bubbles. But in a swipe transfer or a bloom transfer, if we can manage to get a bubble in between the background and what we're transferring, we get these fantastic little portholes through the swipe and it really adds depth to the whole piece because you can see through the swipe and you can see those little bubbles. Is that a good view of it, Christy? Fantastic, excellent. So there we go, there's the background, there's the swipe, trans uh, the, sorry, the bloom transfer. Just making sure it's nicely in, uh, in shot for you. Now, let's see how much movement we've still got. Oh, a good bit, a good bit. So let's uh, give it another spin. And let me just, first of all, just wipe up a little bit of this excess. Because again, we don't want to cover the cat, even though he's halfway across the kitchen. We don't want to cover the cat or Vanna or myself or the kitchen, says Vanna, <laughs> exactly. Yes, we want to try and maintain a, a clean working environment because uh, I don't have a proper studio. Anyway, there we go, friends. Let's give it a spin. And again, I'm just keeping my finger on the edge of the spinning mat, just catching the drips that make it down over the edge and then down onto the mat before they travel all the way and splatter everywhere. Right, well, awesome. <laughs> I am just going to give it a quick torch because I can see some little bubbles in there. Ah, <laughs> Vanna's just come over to have a look and she says, oh, yes, 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 that's very pretty. It's very pretty indeed. So there we go, friends. Uh, I'm not too, I'm not too enamoured with it or in love with it, but um, I don't know, we'll see how it dries and uh, what it looks like after that. And maybe someone might want it enough to watch one of my videos and win it in a LWC contest next week, maybe. Let's see. <laughs> Christy's just laughing in my ear hole. So, Christy, I know you're very diplomatic, darling, and you love my work. And when it's eye candy, you say, oh, yeah, that's eye candy. I'm not hearing that this week. So I know it's not absolute eye candy. It's the, it's the, it's the colour way I think I'm not digging. If I just use... <laughs> Christy says, why did you call me out like that? Because she, she knows, yeah. Um, maybe it's the colours. Uh, actually, I thought they might go well together, but they don't. Oh, Christy says, you covered up the purple and that's what's wrong. So again, if we're not feeling it too much, and to be honest, guys, I'm not feeling it, let me know if you like it in the comments and um, we can see how many people do and how many people don't. What I'm gonna do is actually use this as an opportunity to do some modifications post spinning, because we can do that if we want. And I've seen this nice kind of purple patch. So what I wanna do is kind of 
wreck it exactly. I'm going to come in following that line, but I'm going to pull it down so we get a kind of leaf. There we go. That looks quite nice, don't we? So then let's pull another one down in there. And let's pull another one out in there. And then we can add some prettiness if we don't like what we're seeing. Do you know what I mean, guys? Do another bloom on top of it. Or I could just do another bloom straight on top of it. This is quite true. This is quite true indeed. I am just going to kind of do a little bit of fun squigglies to the background. Oh, well, it's 20 minutes. Vanity said we've still got 20 minutes to go. Uh, but we like to finish just a little bit early so you guys have got a chance to get a snack break and a pee break and something like that. Hmm. So, I'm not disliking it too much now. Well, I think it's a it has a little more interest, let's say. Oh, Christy, this is all right. You don't have to tell me that. I'm, I know it's not actually. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Christy, say, Christy says she thinks it's very pretty and I thank her very much. And anyone else that thinks it's very pretty, thank you. But if we want to be, again, be super critical about this, I put a bit too much paint down because I transferred too much across. I wanted a much thinner kind of transfer than I actually got um, using the wide um, transfer tool is also another uh, kind of mistake that I made if I wanted to keep the transfer smaller. I should have used either this tool or I should have used this tool, which is much smaller. But let's just wreck this and play around with this unless someone is desperately in love with it and wants it in the live chat. Otherwise, I'm going to play around with the over spill and show you what you can do and how you can play around and learn this without actually wasting too much paint, let's say. There we go. Brilliant. There we go. You see, now this paint has spread right out. So we've already got that nice kind of um, uh, wood, wood grain effect. So let's do a transfer across here from here. So there. And something I've always wanted to do is do a spin. So we've actually then got kind of like a Mobius band in the transfer. So there we go. Ah. Not too awful. I hope you guys can see the definition between the, you know, what was uh, transferred the first time and the second time. But there we go, you can see the very lines and it hasn't held much structure of the cells where you can still see, you know, yes, they're a bit wonky, but we've transferred them right across, okay? Um, and we've still retained a little cell structure here. But here in the actual, in the last transfer, we've got these beautiful lines that looks like wood grain. And then you can see the little, if I'm close enough, there we go. You can see the little 360 we did there, so you really get to see the underside of the... Pra oh, thank you, Christy. You really get to see the underside of, uh, of your transfer, which really helps it uh, maintain its depth. So, there we go. Now, it's, uh, we've got uh, 15, minutes. 15 minutes before we will clock off and hand you over to uh, the Wombat. Is Wombat in the live chat yet, Christy? Yep. Oh, Vanna says, yeah. Hi there, Wombat. How are you doing, my brother? Nice to see you. I know it's super early. And it's going to go crazy again when they change the clocks back there. Uh, and he's going to be back to getting up super early. And bless him. We all say, no, you don't have to. You don't have to. But he is such a wonderful person. He gets up at, at the crack of dawn, or if not before, and um, needs a bit of time to sort himself out before he can uh, uh, be his bright, sparkling, wonderful wombat self. Okay, now what I wish I'd actually done was just got another canvas and showed you that little transfer because it's really quite pretty. So, what I am thinking of doing, I guess what we've got here, guys, another one of those. So, let's have a look. See if I can do another one of these in 10 minutes and make it look good. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, man is like, okay, how can I help? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, whoa, lift that one up, bum, 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 and I'm going to pick this one up and transfer this over a plain 
I am guessing just a plane yeah. <laughs> moving things out of the way that could get covered in paint at any moment. So let's uh, just also, let's just wipe up this paint. Because you know me, I'm a clean painter or I don't like making a mess, especially with the paint. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> <Van is. laughs> right, brilliant. Here we go. Here we go. Brilliant. Cool. So all we have to do is get this on there, line it up nicely. And again, we're lining it up with the half moons either side, making sure they're nicely in the middle. There we go. Slight little bit. There and there. There and there. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Now we need a base or something, so... Thank you. Oh dear. So have I got enough in here? Maybe. Oh yes, I do. There we go. Brilliant. So this is again the Sherwin Williams colour to go in, in their white base. I'm going to spin this out. Okay, now I'm just going to, first of all, just, oh, we've got some goobers in there too. Da, 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 get out. And just get it over to this corner. Okay, friends, so there we go. Make sure it's nicely in the middle, brilliant. And we're gonna give it a little spin. Get it spun out and over those edges. Okay, so there we go. Da, da, da. My colour to go this white is quite thick, to be honest, but here we go. Let's just move it over a bit. Excellent. Da, da, da. Now we are going to pick up a piece of this one with the smaller tool and hopefully we can get a nice swipe down, uh, a nice transfer with it. Okay, so. <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> I think. Uh, they can't all be zingers, says uh, says Vanna right there. They can't all be zingers. No, they can't. No, hang on. Let's not let's not write this off yet. We've got to give it a spin first. But I can't see this coming out very well. And I think this might have been one of those times where we should have quit whilst we're ahead. Christy is just laughing her cute little butt off in Illinois. There. Exactly right, exactly. Christy just says it's good because you can see that we, I fail too. Everyone, this is what I think is quite crazy. I love, you know, it's very nice people have such nice opinions of me and the art that I make. Um, and I always try to answer humbly and say, I'm just a guy a bit further down the acrylic road. But this then proves <laughs> that I took a wrong left on the acrylic road today. And you can see that I absolutely failed, really. I mean, it's not very pretty at all, whatsoever. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, Vanna just looked at it and said, meh, I'm looking at it going, wow, what a waste of paint. So here we go, this J.O.P. transfers how to do an ac acrylic transfer or how not to do an acrylic transfer, really. The, well, yeah, th oh, thank you, Vanna, thank you. Vanna says, yes, the technique was correct. And I even taught you the slight spin. If you spin it while you're transferring it, that will give you the Mobius band. A Mobius band is a complete flip in a transfer like this, or a sculpture, let's say. So Christy is trying to say something in my ear. What are you trying to say in my ear, darling Christy? <laughs> Oh, Christy's just asked, have the Muppets visited me? I think the Muppets might have just cursed me. I don't quite know. Are the, are the Muppets next? Is that what you guys are doing, the Muppets? Uh, 
Oh, well, okay. You, oh, okay. So anyway, there you go, guys. Let me just clean my hands up. And uh, well, here we go. Let's, you know, we've still got a bit of time and I've still got a bit of ugly that I could pick up and transfer again. Let's try here this time. No, the paint is just really too thick. Yeah, no. The pillow paint is too thick. The colors were too thick. I just absolutely, yeah, fail. Big fat fail for the joy of pouring, which is, um, again, a bit embarrassing for me, a bit embarrassing for Vanna. But hey, uh, let me see my hands are covered in paint. I can't touch the thing. <laughs> Hang on. So there we go, guys. Da, 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 da. Hi, yes, it's me. The guy that still has the brazen <laughs> shame to show his face, even though uh, he's just absolutely just made a big horrid mess and wasted a load of paint. So there we go. Um, everybody fails, everybody gets it wrong. And I think- There's proof that you can do it though. It's the cover shot. Yeah, there's proof that I can do it, or maybe that was just the serendipitous uh, first time that I did it, is the group's cover shot, obviously. It's what we were trying to recreate here and um, really, really fail miserably. So everybody has a bad day. It doesn't work for me all the time as it does for hardly anyone, really, to be honest. So uh, there we go. Let me just clean up my hands just a little bit more and, um, yeah, apologize a bit more and uh, yeah, kind of apologize for my shame for not delivering the goods for you this week. However, I feel that this being show 24 um, is, you know, and I know they've not all been zingers, but um, we haven't had a monumental failure like this one um, before. And it's good, I guess, to show you guys that, you know, even us and the ad other admins in the group and things like that, have bad days, and it all goes totally wrong. Look, this badly wrong. Look at, oh my, uh, it's just terrible. <laughs> and I, I don't even think I can use that as a pillow to do something else on, you know? It's just, oh dear me. Listen to a couple of frosty mods on top. Oh, here we go, yes. Van has just said we could do some frosty mods on top, so here we go, let's have a laugh and get this last, yeah, I'm gonna do some frosty mods over the top of this. I and mean, I guess this paint might have been a bit too thick too. Yeah, it's just, again, this is, uh, some people mix up all of their paints in one go and then have them sitting there so they're ready to go when they think of color patterns. I don't have the space for that. I just mix them up as and when I want them and I just can't throw them away and I keep them for too long, like these ones from last week. And um, as we can see, uh, it's a, it, they're not your friend. There comes a time where you just got to get rid of those paints and uh, start afresh. But let's do some frosty mods. Excellent. Whoa. See, I don't know why we're doing this either really, guys. This is a bit of a bit of a mute one because there's so much paint on here. <laughs> okay, let's give it a spin. Oh, thank you, Chris. Christy says, we still love you. You're awesome, Cy. Si. They don't all turn out. They don't all turn out. And this was a brilliant one. Not that I would ever choose to do this on purpose, but yeah, this is a great one just to say, hey, oh, Christy's just really laughing now. Oh dear, yeah, oh, we should have, I keep, I stop keep, apologizing. stop apologizing. Yeah, okay guys, I will stop apologizing. Oh dear me, so, well, there we go. How not to do a transfer, a bloom transfer. Sheldon says push it all to the middle and spin it again. Push it all to the minute, middle and spin again, you reckon, Sheldon? Okay, why not? Right to the middle, right to the middle, right, Right to the middle, you push. I don't know. Well, let's see what we end up with. This is actually not a bad idea. And of course, it's not really moving that well because the majority of it is on the board now. No, nope, Sheldon. <laughs> 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 Well, 
we're, we're having a good fun, right? And we're having a laugh. We're learning. We are learning. This is entertaining. We are laughing. You learn best when you're laughing. And how not to do a transfer swipe and then how not to do some modifications. And then finally, the hat trick of how not to do things, how not to push it all into the middle and spin it again. Oh no, no, Vanna's, Vanna's saying, get the other canvas and smush it on top. No, I think, I, I think, we, yeah, we'll have two ugly pieces of art now. So I think this is done. Let's have a, we've really, this is, there, there, there will be no next week's canvas. I believe we can call this a dog's dinner. And we all learned something really valuable today, didn't we? <laughs> Check your paints. Yeah. Uh, no, Vanna says you could do a swipe on top of it. There's so much different paint and lumps in there now and it's got bubbles in it right. and you really don't want to try and use this for nothing. This is going uh, in the, the paint to the paint recyclers. Yes, this is going back in an empty pot and to the paint recycler. So anyway, my friends, we are at 55 and a half minutes. So by the time I say the goodbyes, we're going to be about three minutes too, which will give you enough chance just to go and maybe have a quick pee break, get a snack and come back for the wonderful Venom from Venom Fluid Art and then following Venom, the caboose today is our lovely Christy, the lovely Christy from Illinois who's in my ear, my lovely number one fam. So there we go guys, we definitely learned something today that they can't all be zingers and um, that when something's, you know, when a, dead, when a dog's dead, it's dead, stop beating it and just start again from fresh. A uh, huge thank you to everybody that was uh, before me in the Acrylic Crazy Train, Sheldon Briscoe, and then Tassie for Taz uh, Mayer Art, if I'm saying that right, sorry. Then of course the lovely Brit uh, from Brit Clayton and me, and then obviously it's going to be, we're all gonna go over to Venom right now, and I am gonna finish the show, as I always do, by saying thank you so much, thank you for all the support, thank you for your love, and more than anything else, happy pouring, friends. I'll see you in the live in Venoms. One clean finger to press stop. <laughs>